Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? We're taking a little road trip because uh, I've always wanted to be a uh, part of the Groundhog Day festivities. I've never had the chance. Um, and, and this year I do, so uh, we're gonna take a little uh, Groundhog road trip. The movie Groundhog Day came out in 1993 or 94, starring, of course, Bill Murray. And, uh, Took place in the town of Pontotoni, Pennsylvania, which is where the uh, most famous Groundhog Festival in the United States is held every year. Uh, the director, Harold Ramis, didn't feel that the town, the logistics, and where everything was, was uh, right to film the kind of movie that he wanted to make. So he set out to uh, find another town, and uh, and that town is. Woodstock, Illinois. And lucky for me, Woodstock, Illinois is about 40 minutes. I give you the site for the movie Groundhog Day, Woodstock, Illinois. Unfortunately, the uh, groundhog ceremony takes place at 7 in the morning and I couldn't make it here at 7 in the morning. So we're going to skip that part uh, for this particular video. But I'm gonna to try to show you uh, what I can. The town is pretty much deserted right now. Uh, a lot of the festivities, like I mentioned, took place really, really early in the morning. Um, and then they uh, they pick up again uh, later in the day after hours. There's gonna be tours of the movie sites, uh, movie sets, uh, which we kind of did today. There is also a showing of Groundhog uh, Day, the movie. There is uh, going to be bowling, there's going to be a ball. I don't always geek out, but when I do, it's for movies like Groundhog Day. I got that. <laughs> Actually, that's not entirely accurate. I geek out pretty much every day. Uh, stick around. Woodstock coming up. A lot of people actually flock to Pasto Tony thinking that it would look exactly like the movie, but it won't. This will look pretty much like the movie. Minus uh, Bill Murray, but maybe we can run into Ned Ryerson. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. It doesn't get old, it really doesn't. Entering the uh, the town square where they filmed a lot of the uh, Groundhog Festival, and I don't know if you can pick it up, but behind me in the speakers they're playing Tony and Cher. I've got you, and this is where we celebrate a lot of the festivities. This is where uh, Phil Connor does his um, his. Uh, News report. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Can you hear the music? That's the feel, right? Phil? Hey, Phil? And of course, this is Nets Corner, where uh, Phil Connors. Uh, runs into the uh, homeless guy over there and then as he takes a few more steps he hears a voice that would come to haunt him. Phil? Phil Connors? Phil Connors, I thought that was you. Phil? Time to go. Hey, Phil? This is, uh, this is where Rita's staying and uh, also Phil Connors in one of his many attempts to kill himself jumps from, um, from the top over there. You can see the sign. It tells you what it was in the movie and what it is in real life.
he has small feet. And right after Phil Connor steps on the big uh, pothole and gets all wet, uh, Ned Ryerson is back there uh, laughing at him. <laughs> Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy! It's a doozy! This is the uh, Tiptoe Cafe where he tries to tell several different times Rita uh, about his uh, problem and what's happening to him. Tiptoe Cafe. This is the alley where Phil finds the homeless old guy and tries to save him, but it was not to be. There's a scene where uh, Phil is running from the law and he actually starts driving on the railroad tracks. Uh, well, these are the tracks. This is the bank that uh, Phil Connors robbed and uh, this is where uh, Phil is sitting uh, when he's trying to time so he was sitting, Bill Murray was sitting somewhere around here, um, getting ready to uh, put a hit on the bank. Three, two. After uh, Phil robs the, uh, the bank, he uses all his money to buy a fancy car, ask a young lady out, uh, buy a lot of costumes, and they come here to the uh, movie theater. And remember, his name's not Phil. Call him Bronco. And this is the bowling alley. The great thing about this movie is that pretty much all of the sites, with with uh, with some exceptions that I mentioned earlier, uh, are really within walking distance. You can actually walk all the movie sites within 10 minutes, uh, and you see them all. But the movie is shot in a way that it makes it seem like the town is bigger and things are taking place far away from each other. But uh, I guess of all the, uh, of all the sites, uh, all the sets, all the uh, locations is probably my favorite because it's where uh, most of the scenes take place over and over and over. Nancy? Nancy Taylor? Look at that. And of course, now they're playing the Pennsylvania Polka in Woodstock, Illinois. Woodstock Square Plaza, 360. Not really, but good enough. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tour of uh, Woodstock, Illinois, the site of the movie Groundhog Day. Actually, on Groundhog Day, February 2nd. So, um, thanks for watching. Hold on. Be right back. I think I know that guy. Phil? Phil?